Hi guys, uh, this is going to be another haul I'm afraid. Um, I've been sort of busy with work and stuff like that but when I get spare time I just want to go shopping. Um, I have got an empties video to film which is going to be long, so long because the bag is like massive. Um, but this is basically a collection of just bits and pieces that I picked up um, just over the last few weeks really. Bits from Avon, a couple of bits I bought with my birthday money, super drug, works, all that sort of stuff. So the first thing, the boring thing out of the way first, I bought a couple of these. I know um, I would actually did a video, oh, way, way back um, about the compressed ones, but they were on special offer and they're just nice for handbag size when you're at work. So I picked up a couple of those. I think they were two for £1.50 or something stupid like that. Um, one of the things I bought with uh, my birthday money, I've got a top on, which I don't know if you can see. Let me just show you what it looks like. It's sort of, I don't know, it's just it's just a really nice baggy top with a, like a tapered bit of the front. Um, and it's just lovely. So I bought that in three different colours. Um, if I can remember, I'll post pictures on them at the end of me wearing them. Um, but one of the main things I bought with my money is one of my favourite perfumes of all time. It's so old school, but I love it. Um, and that's the um, Anane, which is by Cacherel, I think. Yeah, Cacherel. I love this perfume. It is so nice. I wear it all year round. It is more of a springy, summery type perfume, but I just love it. Um, and it's my husband's favourite too, so... Yes, I bought some of that because it was on special offer. Um, let's go to a few bits from Avon. I picked up their new Dark Orchid and Raspberry Bubble Bath. This is just absolutely divine. It's gorgeous. Um, I smelt it in the book and I fell in love with it instantly. And of course the top's not open so I can't smell it now. Because, no, I can't open it. But it is literally raspberry. I love raspberries anyway. But this is just really nice. And I did order, and they're on special offer, buy four for five pounds or something. But she got the order wrong, bless her. So I only got one. But she's going to order me some more in the next order. So that is cool. Real sort of Christmassy scent, which I like. Um, I picked up from Avon also one of these little bags. Again, I was supposed to get two. Um, but I had to text her the order because she wasn't. I wasn't here when she arrived to pick up the book so I just picked up one of these pretty little Santa sacks and inside this little Santa sack is a lovely little pair of earrings they're just little studs just tiny little there you go dear Monty studs but they're so cute um so I'm going to be getting some of those some more of those for my little presents for Christmas <clears throat> so I picked up that Hold on, I've got a text message, that's so rude. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Sorry, that's rude reading a text message on camera, isn't it? But never mind. Um, what else have I got? Oh, Poundland, I picked up some bits and pieces. I saw these. I suppose these are just supposed to be like um, a takeoff of the Burt's Bees ones. Um, they're by Mella and Russell, and they're called Be Beautiful Lip Balms. You know what I'm like with my lip balms? I'm going to open one now just to smell it because it's supposed to be... What is it supposed to be? <sighs> Sweet honey, I think that says. I just love lip balm, especially in this weather. <sighs> I can't smell anything. Hmm, it does smell honey, actually. Um, so I picked up those. Those were two in a pack for a pound, obviously. Um, and because I collect lip balms, I also picked up these J20 ones. I just thought they were really, really nice. Um, so I've got one apple and raspberry and one in the glitterberry, which is the Christmas J2O that they bring out. So I picked up those from Poundland. I also picked up some highlighters for my daughter because she texted me from school the other day saying, could you get me some highlighters? So I've got those. Um, I went a bit mad on eyelashes for some reason. I don't know why. I can't put the damn things on and they really irritate me. Um, I've got these in Pound World, these ones. These are the sleek eyelashes. They're quite a nice design. I like them because they're like really thin at the front and then they flare out at the side. So I picked those up. They're a pound. I also picked these ones up from Primark and these were also a pound. So I've got the natural ones, which are really pretty. And I like these because they're full, but they're not too long. So those are the natural ones. 
and then I picked up the sultry ones which are even better because they're not tapered in at the inner corner which means I can cut these ones in half and use them as corner lashes so those are the sultry ones that's that then I went a bit mad on makeup revolution as you do <coughs> as you know I've got a couple of palettes that I really really love and I can't remember if I did these ones or not. I think the other ones are over there. Um, if I have all these already, then I'm terribly sorry. But um, I just love them. So I've got the Girls on Film um, palette, which has got all these colours in the back. I absolutely love these colours. These are all matte along the bottom. And these are all shimmery. And they're just beautiful for eye looks. Then I got Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Which is just lovely. I love the picture on the front. Um, and again colors on the back this is a beautiful color and so is this deep purple is absolutely amazing um so i picked up that one then that was the other day then i went in there um i think it was last week and i picked up run boy run which has got these colors in it really pretty colors this is a beautiful sort of cranberry color Sorry about that, phone always rings when you're in the middle of something. Yeah, so the Run, run Boy, I was going to say Run Fat Boy Run then, that's a film, isn't it? Um, the colours in this, this cranberry colour is really, really nice. Um, yeah, they're just, they're just gorgeous. I love, love, love the Makeup Revolution palettes. They are amazing. So that was that. Uh, then, what else did I get from Super Drug? I picked up a Makeup Revolution mascara um i haven't tried one of these yet i have tried these a couple of times it's all right but i haven't got the best lashes to work with anyway so you know but it, this is the awesome lash i don't know if you can see that there the light glowing um that's the wand which is quite nice not a lot of product comes out on the wand which is probably why i'm not finding it very easy to do my lashes with it but i will keep working with it because you know i want it to work and the other thing I got was the new Brow Master from Maybelline. And this is the one that's got the waxy pencil on one side and then you have the powder in a little pod at the top. So this is the waxy pencil. If you just wind up, as you can see, um, it is quite hard, but it's also quite soft. Um, there's not a great deal of colour in it because it is literally just supposed to be the wax that the powder sticks to. And then you get the powder out which you sort of untwizzle it and it's on like a spring. This is the powder thing at the end and that is what the powder looks like. So yeah, it's not bad, not bad. As again, I'm still trying to work with it because I do like my, just the pencils, but um, I picked that up. Uh, then I picked up from Avon again I've got three lipsticks these are the colour trend lipsticks they were on special offer um I think it was buy one get two free which is just amazing so the first one I got and I can never read the um things in here is violet friday and that looks like this it looks psychedelic violet on here but it's not I mean it does the camera's making it picking it up to be like crazy violet um but it's it's really not it's really pretty though I suppose it is a bit like a neon violet, but it's the camera's making it more neon than what it is. So that's that one. And then I picked up Deluxe, I think that is. And this is a nice, nice dark one. I think this is the one I've got on my lips. It does look brown, again, in the camera. The camera's not playing very well today. It is, it is a brownie toned berry colour, I suppose. But it's very, I think that's the one I've got on. So not too bad. So that was that one. And then the last one is Lucky Kiss. Oh no, this is the one I've got on, I think. And this is, again, it looks brown toned, but it's not. It, that, that is definitely more berry toned. That's the one I've got on my lips now, this one. So that's what it looks like on the lips. So that is a that. Then I went back into Superdrug today. As you do, you know, because Superdrug is my second home. And I picked up, now they had quite a lot of special offers on in there today. I wanted to get, definitely wanted to get this, but I'll show you this thing first. This is the, oh, this is just divine. This is again by Maybelline and it's their colour show, Be Brilliant um, Glitter Christmassy Nail Polishes. This is what it looks like. It is amazing. 
absolutely amazing it's got every single color you could think of in there it's called light it up this one and it is just heavenly let me just see if i can paint some on a nail and i will show you how heavenly it is oh it's amazing uh amazing Just on its own or worn over a colour, this is just going to be so nice for Christmas. That's what it looks like. It just looks like you have gems all over your fingernails. Gorgeous. Absolutely love it. So I might just paint my nails like that before I go out because there's nothing wrong with being Christmassy in November. So yeah, that's that one. Like I said, that was that one there. They had several different colours. They've got more of a black toned under base sort of one and they've got a blue and a purple. Um, I did look at the Barry M Jingle Bells, I think it's called. I think it's Jingle Bells. Um, which is a gold with red flecks in it. Gold glitter with lots of little bits of red in it. But I didn't really like that one, so I'm glad I chose this one now because it is just amazing. I will probably go back next week and get the darker one of this as well because I love it. So that's that. Then I picked up this, which I wanted to try. Um, I did actually try the concealer in store, the cream part of the concealer, but I wasn't really that impressed. But um, I saw this and I thought, oh, why not? This is just like a colour correcting powder. It's very similar to, Elf do one very similar to this with four different sort of pastel colours in it. Uh, this is what it looks like. Sorry, I'm I'm gassing away here and I'm, you know, should be showing you product, shouldn't I? So it's got a green, um, it's got a yellow, and it's got a purple. They all look the same, don't they? And it's got like an orangey tone. So that, is the colours let me see them on there sort of but when you swirl them all together you just get this really sort of nice um colour correcting powder it's very soft um doesn't smell of anything which i'm glad because the blushes and the face powders do smell a bit synthetic baby powderish type thing but this doesn't it's just so pretty and i you know it's just nice just to swirl around and finish your look off get some you know get rid of some of this shininess which i haven't got because i've just powdered my face before i did this video so cheating um then i picked up another one of these these um switch matte shine duos um i've already got the really deep purple one and i've got the red one which i absolutely love i find them amazing the creaminess of this matte lipstick is just crazy now while i'm chatting away about how wonderful i think this is i'm going to try and get this packaging off which amazingly has come off really easily today now oh oh god my glitter's gone everywhere oh well so this one is called pop fuchsia not the brilliantest of um, things for this time of year, but but it's cut most fantastic colour for this time of year. But I love it, and I just love fuchsia colours. Look at this! Oh my god, it's amazing. So I'm going to put the fuchsia matte lipstick there. So pigmented and so creamy, it really does not feel like you've got a matte lipstick on when you're wearing this. So that's the um, lipstick end. Of course, they've still got the little bit at the end. And then you have the gloss as well. Now, I'm wondering, because with the darker, deep one that I've... The deep... I can't speak. With the deep, darker one that I've got, the gloss is amazing it's so pigmented um so i'm hoping that this is going to be the same because the gloss on the darker one you could literally wear yes it is oh that is amazing you could wear this over the lipstick or you could wear the gloss on its own because it is so pigmented that's the gloss and they are just absolutely amazing i love them so i picked up that that was 250 or three pound i can't remember the powder was four i know that so the powder was four pounds. Then I wanted to get another brow pencil. Oh, actually no. Did I want to get another? Well, I, I sort of did, but I had, I had a brow pencil. I saw these um, and I couldn't believe it. I, th I thought it was an eyeliner at first and then I looked and read it and I was really shocked because the only other people I know that um, I think that do these is Urban Decay. Now, what it is, is a clear lip liner. It looks like this 
and it just says, if I can read the damn thing, which I can't, just says clear anti-bleed. Um, I'm going to try and get one open now because if this is as good as I think it's going to be, the Urban Decay one is like £15, I think, for, um, uh, can't undo it. Yeah, about fifteen pounds for a. I think it's called Zero. Um, for the clear lip liner, which is such a brilliant idea, because I'm not brilliant with lipstick anyway, and I'm not that fantastic with the lip liner. So if I muck it up with the lip liner, the lipstick's got no chance, has it? So let me just see if I, oh God, I'm going to pause this video and come back. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe how long it took me to do that. Right, so it's got the little sharpener on the end, which all the MUA ones have. This is what it looks like. It looks white. And it is in fact clear. And very sort of soft and waxy. You can't see it. This is what it looks like. You can't see it. It's it's lovely. It's almost like um, the feeling of like a silicone type thing that you'd get in a primer. It's amazing. Um, so if this works and this stops my lipstick bleeding for a pound, <sighs> You know, why spend the £15 on Urban Decay ones when this is going to be just as good? Um, I am going to test it out with a really, really dark lipstick at some point, And I should be able to put it on camera. Um, like I said, I'm absolutely crap putting lipstick on. I never use a lip brush. I always use the lipstick straight from the um, barrel. Um, oh, God. Trouble is, that's the only thing with it anyway. Oh, I can't get... Aha, got it. Right, so that... So I literally, because it's three for two in Superdrug at the moment, I've got two of them. So where's the other one? There it is. So I picked up two of those. They only had two, otherwise I'd have picked up three. So instead I picked up my favourite um, MUA brow pencil. This one's in blonde. And this is the one that I always use on my eyes. So yeah, I'm going to definitely do a review on these. <clears throat> Not that I've got the Urban Decay one to... Uh, <coughs> oh, for God's sake. Um, to compare it with but I will do it um, I'd love to hear from anybody that um, uses the Urban Decay Zero because I'd love to oh, do you know what I'd really love to try this and just see what it's like as a dupe because it feels so soft on the skin and I'm thinking it will work so that's that then I picked up something very very naughty which was by the till and that's a really large block of Toblerone it's not that big actually it's quite thin but it's all Toblerone and I love it so I picked up one of them and the other thing I picked up was I saw on a girl's channel I can't remember her name I'm so sorry but she was telling me that one of her she was saying that one of her favorites um for October and pretty much most of the year actually was the simple perfecting BB beauty balm which looks like this and i have looked at this so many times before and thought mm, you know i'd love to try it i'll tell you what though it's a massive box right look at the size of the tube how pathetic uh, this is just a waste of, oh god this is just a waste of trees guys um but the, she she was saying how much brilliant coverage this has got and i love my pure bb cream and cc cream as you know it's one of my favorite bb creams the coverage on it is absolutely amazing um but i wanted to try this now this is 8.99 which is quite steep for a BB cream, um, but I thought, what the hell, I want to try it. So it is a universal colour. So I will show you the colour on the back of my hand. That is the colour. Um, but blended it when I blended it in the shop, it, the coverage, again, like she said, the coverage is bloody amazing. Um, and I can't wait to try this. So that's it blended in. You can't see it. Um... I suppose you kind of, kind of, can kind of see it starts there and ends there. But no smell because obviously it's simple. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to try this and do a review on it and a demo. Um, I just had to get it. I've been, I'm in Lauren for the last two or three weeks, walking past it every time, picking it up, then putting it back. But today I picked it up and thought, no, I'm not going to put it back. I'm going to have it. So that is that. I think that's all the makeup. Um, you know, beauty bits. Uh, God, what's that? Oh, it's just a thing. So the next thing I'm going to show you is some bits I picked up from work today. Candles and Christmas cards, basically. Um, I just wanted to go in there and I saw them 
as you walk past works they have these big displays right at the doorway and it's just so tempting for people like me to not go in and just pick some stuff up so i saw that they had their massive candles these are bloody humongous um doesn't say no it doesn't say how much is in them but they are huge i mean the size of my hand and the size of the candle they had the Christmas ones in and I couldn't resist because I do love works candles and they're really, really nice. I have quite a lot of the little ones, um, but this one is vanilla cream. So basically like the frosting that you put on top of cakes. Oh God, and that's exactly what it smells like. For people that can't afford janky candles and stuff like that, like me, because janky candles, I love them, but they're just like pff, stupid prices. Um, oh. It does. It literally smells like you're cooking um, Christmas cupcakes and you've done the vanilla frosting for the top. Oh, bloody amazing. Um, so I picked up that one. Then I also picked up winter cotton, which looks like that. And the Starlights is the name of the people that make these. Now the winter cotton is more subtle. But it does smell like... Um, a subtler version of, I think, is it fresh linen from Yankee Candle? <sighs> oh, love it. These normally are fantastic price anyway at three ninety nine, but at the moment, three for ten pounds. So I picked up the cotton one, and then I also picked up my other favourite all time Christmas scent, and that is mulled wine. <clears throat> <sighs> Spicy, orangey, berries. Just loveliness. They have also got a cinnamon one, but I absolutely hate cinnamon. And I took the lid off it and had a smell and nearly threw up in the shop. It was just, it is really, it is literally like um, you open one of the spice jars that's just brand new, take the lid off the cinnamon one and go and sniff it all up your nose. Oh God, the smell was there for hours and it just made me feel, ugh, makes me go shivery and horrible. But this one is just divine. I can't wait to start burning these. <sighs> I just think candles at Christmas. Well, candles all year round, really. But candles at Christmas just make... Oh, God. Where are you going? Um, you left me then. Christmas candles are just divine. And I start burning them from sort of like October or when they come out. So I also got a little one, a little miniature version of the Christmas cupcake. Got a smell again. I know I just have, but... Oh, um, and I think I've got two of the mold wine ones. Yes, I did. Two of the mold wine. So I picked up those ones. I've got to smell it again. Oh, love it. So yeah, I picked up those. They were one forty nine each. Which, when you think about it, I mean these ones are three ninety nine, right? They're massive. These ones are just under half the price. Um, at 149 look at the size difference I mean you might as well just buy this one mightn't you so next week I'm going to go back in there and get another three of these I might even get another six because these are brilliant for Christmas presents as well a little bow around that um, and a Christmas card and you, you've got a you've got a, a, a present perfect love it so I'm going to get some of them um, then I picked up some of these from works because I think they're lovely and I've got quite a few people overseas family wise I've got my brother um and sister-in-law over in germany i've got my uncle and my cousin out in cyprus um so yeah i thought what would be a good idea it would be like a nice christmasy picture i take three we'll take some lovely pictures of the girls all three girls all christmasy like with tinsel and christmas hats on um and put them in these and send them uh i just think they're lovely they've got little christmas houses down here um they've got the merry christmas and a happy new year on the side they did have other ones they had like cartoony ones but i wanted something really sweet and nice to send so i've done that picked up some of them they were a pound for like five it's crazy crazy money um and because i'm a member of the um works i've got the works loyalty card they're christmas cards we'll buy one get one free so i picked up two of this one because these were a pound each i think and i just think they're so pretty with the glitter so that's Christmas cards, so I've got two of those. They were a pound bowl, got them free. And these ones 
are just divine. I love these. So these are 10 luxury Christmas cards. The first one is just so sweet. And it's got a lovely little girl under a Christmas tree looking at all her presents and baubles and stuff. So I picked up that one. And I also picked up, this one is just the most divine scene ever for Christmas. It's the post box and people walking in the snow and all the glitter on the houses. Can you see the glitter on the houses? I just love glittery Christmas cards. I don't know what it is. It's the child in me. I just love it. And while I was at the counter, totally not Christmas related at all. But um, I saw these and they just made me laugh. <laughs> jelly babies, right? Everyone loves jelly babies. Well... You can always guarantee that works have got something funny to um, sell. So instead of jelly babies, these are jelly act je jelly atrix, um, and they're just like they're so funny. Um, I'm going to have to open them and show you these because they just I love jelly babies anyway. But, oh, smell. See, they should make a candle that smells like jelly babies. Oh, so these are all. Um, oh, they're so cute. Right, so this is a little old lady with a frame. Can you see that with a little walking frame? So that's that one. Um, and we've got grumpy old man with knock knees. If you if you can't see these images, then I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure that one is. It's squashed. <laughs> What's this one? Oh no, that's the walking frame again. This is, again, squashed. Can't tell what it is. Um, I don't know. What is that one? Hmm. Strange. Can't tell what half of these are because they're all squashed. But those are the two best ones. Um, oh! Drop that one. I'll tweet it. This one... It's just an old man in a scarf and a walking stick, I think. They're just so cute. Um, so I had to pick them up. I mean, jelly babies, jelly atrix, what will they think of next? I'm going to have to eat the little man in his walking frame. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. That's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly enjoy shopping for you lot. So, And there will be another haul sometime next week. Because I'm going shopping again on Tuesday. Oh, well has to be done um so yeah i don't know whether to enjoy my tabler now or eat my geriatric jelly at trick um i think i'd eat jelly at trick so hope you enjoyed it have a wonderful weekend um as today is saturday um i will see you all very very soon i like i said i've got a few videos coming up it's just getting the time to do it um i love you all guys thanks so much for your support and all my new subscribers that have just flocked in in the last two weeks i just can't believe it every time i open my box now i've got another subscriber and another subscriber so thank you so much for subscribing i hope you stick with me um it is a fun channel i haven't been uploading at the moment for certain personal reasons but um it's all coming good now so i should be back with a vengeance um yeah hope you enjoyed it guys i'll see you all soon and i'm gonna eat this little geriatric